Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you three really great ways that you can export information within your project schedule to share outside, right? With colleagues, friends, peers, team members, whatever the case may be. All right. So the most common thing you're going to want to do is print. I hear that every day. Oh, I need to print my project schedule, right? Well, obviously a project schedule is quite a large thing, right? If we collapse this down, you can see we've got a lot going on on this page. So what you can do is kind of make it as streamlined as you can, right? So we can see the entire project, but it's a large thing to fit on a piece of paper. But if you want something like this to be printed, let me show you how to get as close to it as you can. Click File, Print. Now what you can see is, to some extent, because I pulled my splitter bar over and to display the Gantt chart, it is showing me kind of what I have on screen. It's not perfect, but it's much better than it was. If I go back and actually make that all the way the other way, like this, right? And then go back to print, you can kind of see it's gone away, right? It's not perfect, but it does kind of what you do, right? If you have the splitter bar all the way over, it's pretty much outside. If you bring it all the way in, it'll cut off most of the table. So, you know, it's not an exact science, but it works, right? File print, and we're kind of there, right? I'm getting what I want. Task name, duration, good enough, right? You've also got this legend down here. No one needs this legend, right? If you don't know what a task is, you don't know what these things mean, just print a legend page for them, right? But I'm just going to say none, right? I do not want a legend page. That's going to save me some real estate. So now, to be fair, that doesn't look terrible, right? It's two pages. If I have a big camera, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, four pages. If I have a big um Printer, I could probably get away with doing some of that, right? I could probably get it on one page. I've made it and collapsed it. I'm pretty happy with that. I've got rid of the legend, so it saves it about a third or a quarter of the page. So I think we're in really good shape. By default, we're in landscape. I'm happy with that. I could print that at this time. That's one way. Another way, let's give you the example that you have a team member working on the task within your project. His name is Tom Henry. Right, and you want to share the list of all the tasks they're working on on your project. Nice way to do this is to go to the view ribbon, and we're going to go filter for using resource, and then in the drop down, Tom Henry, press OK. It's going to show me every single task in my project that has Tom Henry assigned to it. I'm just going to take specific information. Tom doesn't care about you know a lot of the what phase it's in, right? Just wants the the Logistic, the names of the tasks. I'm using the control key here. How much time we think, that's probably important. Probably want the start and finish dates. And he doesn't care about pretty much anything else. Successes, predecessors means nothing to Tom. I'm going to copy that, control C. Oh. Right click, copy. Oh. This is not a valid selection. Full rows, or, or well, I'm not sure what's happening there. I think I have to take. It like that, right? So, and I can remove the ones in the middle. I'm just taking specific rows here. There we go. Just these rows. Okay. Copy that. I'm going to go over to Word now and paste that into there. Doesn't look great because we've got all these other columns that have come through, but it has pulled through the task name headings. Let's try that again. Control Z. And back to Microsoft Project. And I'm just going to take certain things now. Let's try and get a little bit more refined. So just the logistics, just duration, start, finish dates. That's all I want. Control C. Let's paste that into Word now. See how that looks. Much better. All right. So just take what you want. Don't do the entire rows. Take certain information. OK. Another little trick. If I was to, I want the Gantt chart as well as this information that I see on screen. Paste special. So different options here. If you do the picture mode, you're going to get that Gantt chart coming along. It does include some of the other columns that you didn't want, right? There's different formats that you can see here. Paste it as a picture. Boom. Now we've exported it with the Gantt chart as well. And you can always come in and delete other things out of here, right? It's, it is a picture, so you'd have to kind of collapse it and cut things out so it's not perfect. But it's certainly better than printing everything off, as we saw in previous modes. All right, so that's exporting 
using printing, using the smart copy and paste feature of Microsoft Project. It's really nice because it does pull through the column headings. You don't have to go and select that or retype it. It makes life pretty easy there. The third option in Microsoft Project that I wanted to share with you is the timeline tool. This is a great way to present information high level to other people. To get this, we go to the view ribbon, select the timeline from the split view section of the view ribbon. Pull down the splitter bar here. Now I'm just looking at my timeline. What I want to do is just show, you know, let's see the, the project start and finish date. Let's pull that up there. Can I do that? You should right click, add to timeline. That's the one. It doesn't like me. Let's try that again. Right click, add to timeline. There we go. So that's the overall duration of my entire project. You can scroll through it. And as you do, you'll see the Gantt chart updating on the right hand side. Very nice. Uh, I can add event planning, right click, add to timeline. I can select three or four tasks as well. Right click, add to timeline. So I'm just coming in and taking some tasks. You can see the little check mark represents those tasks are actually complete. Uh, I can put in, in fact, let's uh, remove my using resource filter there. All right. And I'm going to pull in a couple of milestones. Right click, add to timeline. So I have a milestone there as well, planning complete. And you can pull these little labels around. You can have the milestones at the top, oops, or at the bottom of the page, like so. Move the light labels around. You can even pull out the task. So uh, the Tokyo Olympics planning, maybe I don't want to see that. I can see that as a kind of a parenthesis. So I know where that is now. And you can hover over anything to get more information, right? You can also come in and color code certain things, right? Maybe event planning is what you're going to be showing to somebody. Let's make that uh, purple, right? With some white text. Maybe that's what they like to see. So I can color code it. I can make my milestones slightly different colors on the Gantt chart. So we know that this one is the end of planning, right? Event planning, planning complete, similar color milestones. You can color code things as you like. All right. What you can also do is um, you can drag this out. This will actually adjust the time scale in the Gantt chart below. All right. So now we're looking at a, a wider, so that it zooms out essentially. And if I want, I can actually export this also. You can just take a screenshot or you can use the copy timeline feature. It's three different levels of compression for emails, pretty small presentation, optimized for PowerPoint. Full size, just as it says on the, on the tin, full size. Let's take the presentation one. I'm going to paste that into Word as well. You don't have to necessarily put it into PowerPoint. And you can see how that kind of looks there on the screen. We probably should go for a um, landscape orientation. orientation. I love using the search features of the latest office here. Landscape. Now I can see it. Great. Uh, another quick feature there. Let's go to a new page. Go and enter a new page. I'm going to right click and paste that as a picture. Right. And see how that looks. Slightly different, right? And you can blow this up a little bit easier, right? Than you can this one. You see how things come a little bit crazy with that one. But with this one, you can move things around as well if you want to manipulate things. And they're all individual little things, right? Which makes it difficult when you're stretching it. This is just a picture. Another quick tip there. All right, that is the three different ways that I always pull out of information out of my project schedule. I, I hope you'll find some of these helpful. Um, if you like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your comments and feedback. And if there's any other videos you'd love to see, please let me know. Thanks and have a great day.